Welcome back, pump collectors. In this video, we are going to be outside the garage and we're going to look at the Tokine 34 gas pumps. Let's take a close look at this gas pump lineup right now. I really enjoy the Tokine 34 deco styling. You can see how unique that top looks. It's all stair-stepped. They came with a factory globe holder, as you can see. External visigauge. Nice looking aluminum faces. Great styling all around. Even the bezel is a very unique and interesting design. Look at the crackling paint on this one. Definitely has an old look to it. This one has a cap inside the globe holder. Probably somebody did not want to get rain in there. Can't tell you whether that's a factory cap or if somebody actually put that in there. I do not know. Next, we have the Tokheim 34 display pump. A couple of unique features of this gas pump are obviously this uh, display pan here, which held two inch glass shells to display small items like spark plugs, maybe fan belts, maps, things like that that would actually fit in there. One thing I wanna point out is if you're buying a 34 display or a showcase pump, the base actually has an extra step in it, as you can see right there, versus this one. You can see the difference? I mean, look how much taller it is. There they are side by side. Also notice the unique lock on the door here. You want to make sure you're buying an original pump if you buy one of these because they are very expensive. You don't want to get stuck later thinking or knowing or finding out that um, you bought a phony pump. We'll take a look inside this pump and I'll show you the light manifold set up next. What we have here is a page out of a Tokheim 34 display advertising catalog. And this is nice because it shows the three different variations that were available to the person or station that purchased one of these pumps. Number one was the display compartment. This is what you see on the front of my pump. It held 12 inch wide, two inch deep shelves, and it was used to hold small items to entice the customers at the island to purchase when they were filling up with gas. Number two, a changeable combination glass panel that had advertising printed on it. And this panel could be changed periodically. It would either light up solid or flash. Number three was a permanent glass panel also with advertising on it and also it had the ability depending on the setting in the pump to either light up solid all the time or it could be flashed. Let's take a look at the back side of this Tokheim 34 display pump. I'll look inside and you'll notice this special light manifold. It has the explosion proof jars that we have out here in California because this was a California pump. Light bulbs go inside those in case there's a problem with a light bulb exploding 
it will not cause a spark to ignite possible vapors of fuel. You follow the conduit down from the light sockets. It goes into this unit right here that is the flasher unit that would flash or illuminate off and on the lighted panel for attention. These are several examples of original glass backlit panels for Tokheim 34 display pumps. Here is a flasher unit that I own, extra one, from a Tokheim 34 display pump. And I just want to point out, these are pretty neat because they actually have a Tokheim ID tag on the unit itself. I have not taken this unit apart yet. I would like to someday figure out how it actually works, how the flasher works. But I just wanted to, you guys to take a look at. There's four wires, two coming in, two going out. Hey guys, we are back in the garage. I could not resist. I'm going to pull the cover off of this Tokheim 34 flashing unit because I want to get a better idea of how this functions. And I'm sure you are probably curious as well. So let's do this. I do not have a tripod, so I may have to stop and start, but here we go. Hopefully all the fasteners will come out without breaking. All right, let that sit for a minute or two and uh, then we'll start disassembling this. Okay, here we go. We're going to remove the cover and take a look inside. Oh, this is interesting. There's actually some writing in here too. It looks like a large relay, electromechanical relay. It says only flashes manually, question mark. Loose to lights, nuts, I don't know. Maybe somebody had trouble with this and worked on it a little bit. I'm not sure, but it appears to use a large tripping relay and that's probably what cycles the power to your light fixture off and on. So that just kind of gives you an idea I might try powering this up to see what it does. Uh, I might not, we'll see. I tightened down the, the nuts that were loose here. I tried to run power to these two terminals here. At this point, it's not doing anything. There are four wires total coming out. You would think two powering coming in and two going to your light fixture. It is not functioning at this point. It has a large relay here that trips. And inside, it is hard to see. Let me get a light. Inside, you can see a round cylinder-like thing. Now, that's it's possible that's a capacitor. I'm not sure. I wouldn't think it would be a motor. If anybody has information on this unit at all, like a service schematic, information on how to wire it, get it to function again, let me know, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at some parts that are unique to the Tokheim 34 gas pump. First of all, they use a face pan like this 
that screws to the calculator. If you see that cutout right there at the top, that allows light to come down from the internal light bulb to light up the face area. Next, I wanna point out that they used an aluminum face that fit right into the sheet metal pan nicely. Good looking faces. Oftentimes, you'll find the on off pot metal or aluminum lever broken off. I'll show you in a photo right now. This is the side totalizer inspection door. Very, very often on a Tokine 34, these will be missing. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. This is where the totalizer inspection cover goes. If you look inside, you can see the totalizer window on the side of the calculator. Since finding these were so difficult, a friend of mine who lives out here in California, his name's Dave Gillette, was a huge help to the hobby because I gave him an original door. He took it to an old school fabrication shop and had it reproduced to look nearly identical. On either side, you flip this over, they are absolutely spot on and they fit like a glove. These were produced in a very limited amount. There might be a few copies left, so get a hold of either myself or Dave and we'll see if we can help you out so you could purchase one to complete your pump. The Visigage that you're looking at right here was used on several Tokai models and I'll point that out right now. This is the correct Visigage for a Tokine 34. This 34 has a sight glass assembly that's actually shorter than the other 34s I have. See the height of that one versus this. Now this is a California pump. I don't know if this particular short Visigage was made for the California version of a 34 display. I can't tell you that. We don't have the answer to this. But it sure does look factory. It does not look cut down. And this was exactly how it came off the farm when this pump was found. There you go, there's another side-by-side. -side. Look at those Visigage heights. If anybody has a comment about this, please leave it in the comments section under my YouTube channel. There's a beautiful Chevron Supreme pump right here. Another thing I want to mention is these pumps take an eight inch calculator. As you can see right here, this is an extra one that I have out of the pump. It's eight inches from face to face. The being is the pump is very narrow widthwise in the top section here. So the eight inch calculator brings the pans out to the proper depth for the faces. And the last piece I want to show you guys is the reset crank handle. So you know what to look for if you're looking for an original one. This is what it would look like. This is the correct reset crank handle.
One thing I want to point out is that Tokheim had a showcase version instead of a display version of this pump. And what you're looking at here are some photographs of original one. And they had showcase extensions that came out to allow wider shelves to hold larger items like oil cans. What we have here is a one of a kind. And I know a lot of you guys that are pump experts know this. This pump was fabricated into a clock face pump from a good friend of mine, well-known collector, Dick Bennett. You'll see his name in a lot of the publications and books. He passed away years back and I purchased this pump from his wife. And this was an incomplete project that he had started on. And I remember him telling me at the time that just because you don't see a 34 clock face in the book doesn't mean that they never produced one. Most likely, Tokheim never produced a 34 non-calculating uh, 34 gas pump, but he had this vision to build this pump, and what he did was he installed and fabricated and mounted, very well done, actually, a Tokai 870 clock mech, I believe. And when I purchased the pump, it had reproduction skins. These skins are original skins that I purchased and installed onto the, the pump. The thing that I had to do was come up with some faces. He had made some photo faces of what he thought this pump would have looked like if it had been a factory built pump. This is the photocopy on decal paper of the custom face that Dick had envisioned for this pump. I think he did a wonderful job designing this. He was very creative. And I could send this to Vicky over at Petronuts and she could make me some aluminum faces. I might do that someday. But for now, I ran out of time. I had some 870 faces laying around that I fabricated to make fit the pump for the video. And overall, I think it, it actually looks really nice. I had to drill a hole, of course, for the reset. It, this works, by the way, it resets. And my friend Dick actually motorized it. And I'm gonna give you a demonstration of that right now. It's the coolest thing to have a motorized clock mech with the ringing bell at every gallon a delivered. Demonstration of this Tokheim motorized original clock mech in operation right now. Let's plug it in. You got to admit, that is the coolest sound. Every gallon that bell rings, just like in the old service station when you were pumping your gas. One thing I want to point out on these gas pumps is notice this hole right here. Now, some of you guys know this already, but that hole is there for a reason. Every one of these pumps has that hole in that position. Even the display pump, look at this. Okay, what that is, is there's an on off, a push button switch behind that to turn the lights on and off. There's a plunger in there and it's a on or off type switch that pushes in to turn on and you push it in again to turn it off. I will demonstrate that. You take like a screwdriver, stick it in the hole. I'm gonna push in, lights off, push it again, lights back on, off, on. It's nice when you can free those switches up and actually get them to work again after all these years. 
So there you have it. That's the lineup of my Tokine 34 pumps. I hope you enjoyed this video. More videos coming your way soon.